So there's a new Doom trailer out, sort of. Uh, it's a GameStop or EB Games trailer showing off Doom Eternal. And uh, since I've been talking about the game and I've been complaining about the lack of showing the game off, it's only fair that I check out the trailer. So for the first time ever, I don't even like these kind of videos, but I figured I would try it. Maybe they're fun to make. I'm going to make a trailer reaction video. So I haven't seen this before. And uh, yeah, uh, let's see what it's like. Here we go. It's an Australian trailer. Okay, this is Joy Doom 64. Fair enough. Uh, the Duke Revenant. Oh, it doesn't make trumpet sounds when it fires? Huh, okay. Throwback shot. Okay, so it's just a skin, yeah. They had skins in the previous one as well. Only for multiplayer though. Bonus master level, okay. So they've hidden levels behind pre-ordering now, okay. This is my Slayer look, it's pretty cool I guess. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, it, it does said it did say pre-order deluxe trailer, so I guess... Yeah, let's see, it's the Hell Knight, and... Oh, that one of those axe-wielding ones. Those, those are new, those are new. It seems the Cyber Mancubus are back. And the regular Mancubus as well. Yeah, so not really that much they showed in this trailer. That was a bit of a shame. Mm. I mean, it's what I said in the video. They are fully on board for monetizing this game uh, beyond just selling a game and it's not necessarily the problem with Doom Eternal, it's the problem with Bethesda because they've been doing this a lot, like uh, for Rage, Rage 2 uh, Rage 2, if you want to buy the expansion pack you have to buy it by getting premium currency first and then buying with the premium currency and it's like, seriously? I hadn't even heard about that when I made when I made the first video and I looked more into like what kind of um, things Bethesda are pulling in terms of recurrent user spending, and it's way worse than I thought. Uh, the game itself, I mean, it looks good. Like I, I said this before, well, Doom Eternal looks good. It looks like it looks like Doom, but like I don't know. Uh, I want I want to offer a correction though because I did I did get some information wrong in the previous video I made on this. I said that it hadn't been playable at any recent events. Uh, it was apparently playable this month at a recent event. I forget what event it was, but it was it, it did have pop, proper playable demo stations people could come play at. So that's good. That's good. It didn't really get get much coverage, though. Like, it, I can, like this is the first trailer since um, the um, uh, Doom Hunter trailer, which I believe was in August. Uh, maybe early September, and like both of those trailers were very short and just focused on like a single thing. Um, at E3 they had a story trailer which really didn't say anything about the story. I was hoping we would get like a proper story trailer again. Maybe we'll get one closer to launch. I don't know. Um, don't I don't really like that they delayed Doom 64 to March as well. Like it's cool that you get it for pre-ordering the game regardless of system now. But why couldn't they launch Doom 64 in November? So if you pre-order the game now, you get that. I think that's like I'm way more okay with like a pre-order bonus that's just an extra game you can otherwise buy separately than I am like exclusive skins and all these cool like um, what do they call it? Uh, cosmetical things that are fun to play with and a new level. Um, I mean, maybe that will be available even if you don't pre-order, but then it will be an additional cost despite being, you know, part of the game. That really, really, really bugs me. Also, why doesn't the Toot Revenants sound like trumpets? You can't call them Toot if you don't make a Toot sound. Anyway, that's my thoughts on this latest trailer. Uh, I, did, I did feel like I came off maybe a little too, like, rough on Doom Eternal in the previous video, uh, but it's only because I want it to be good. Like, it's only because I want this to be at least as good as Doom 2016. 
which, you know, yes, was a big positive surprise for me. Uh, I didn't think it would be good, but it turned out to be really good. Um, and maybe this will be the same case here. I mean, we'll see. We'll see, but, like, I can only judge from what I see, I can only say what I think from what I see, and I will criticize things like cutting stuff from a game to sell through additional monetization and pre-orders and deluxe editions and all that jazz. Like, the Doom 2016's... Did Doom 2016 even have a pre-order thing? I seriously don't think it did. It might have. I think if you got the deluxe edition... Did you get the season pass to get the deluxe edition? I actually don't remember. I seriously don't remember. I know Wolf of the New Order gave you the access to the Doom beta. That's the kind of stuff I'm okay with. Things related to another game. Like, fine. Do that. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm rambling. Uh, this was a trailer reaction video. This video is, like, six times as long as the trailer. I guess that's how these things go. Uh, I don't know. I hope it'll be good.